Living at the end of the 20th century as we are, I think we're beginning to see for the first time the real limits of the ocean. For a long time, people thought it was limitless. 11 of the 15 major fisheries of the world are already overexploited. A prime example is George's Bank. Once it was the richest fishing ground in the North Atlantic. But giant trawlers with nets scraping the bottom strip mined vast tracts of the ocean floor. Fish populations plummeted. Today, scientists are trying to find a way to protect and restore the fish before it's too late. We're starting um, some, a, a significant effort in looking at the effects of mobile fishing gear on habitats. One technique that the New England Fishery Management Council has used to manage fish populations on George's Bank is to close areas to fishing. We're collecting samples in a closed area, an area that's been closed to fishing for four or five years. What we're trying to find out is how quickly these areas recover after you stop fishing. Imagine being in an airplane and trying to uh, figure out who lives in New York City but only being able to drop uh, uh, some sort of grab that could uh, sample New York City. This is basically what we're doing. We never dreamt prior uh, to these last 20 years or so that we could even begin to do some of the harm that we found that we can. I was a commercial fisherman. I did it to provide for my family. That's the way I earned my living. Uh, I've never felt sorry for doing that. Uh, probably, unfortunately, at a time like now, it's, it's probably like the whalers of, of old, where they probably didn't see themselves as doing anything other than going out and earning their living. It's a tremendous tragedy for so many people and so many communities that, that rely on the oceans and have done for centuries. I think one of the real problems about getting people to understand what's going on in the oceans is the fact that it really is kind of out of sight, out of mind. We have a sampler that we've lowered over the side, and within the framework, we have a still camera and two video cameras. But we're doing comparative video transects inside and outside of an area that's been closed to fishing. The information that we're collecting on the crews may have an effect on how fisheries are managed. What we're trying to do is find out how long these areas that have been fished uh, need to recover for the animals to come back. What a load. What you don't even deal with? Oh my goodness. This is uh, what we expected in this closed area. It's the biggest catch of haddock I've seen in a half hour tow since the late 70s. We have to find a way to keep the resource so it keeps uh, rebounding after each time that we go out and harvest it. Same as a farmer has to do each year if he has to replant his crops or just start to, to rotate his fields, we have to learn how to do the same thing with the closed areas. And this way here, we can once again provide for the nation's needs. It's almost incomprehensible to me that we've treated the oceans in the way that we have. If the oceans die, we will die. There will be no life on this planet at all. <laughs> 